we're backing up, bud. Here we go. Says so that is that the familiar backing up sound of going to the doctor, Emmett? We are going to the hospital. Emmett has what looks like a small scratch on his eye. And they said if that's like an infection, that is not good. So better to be safe than sorry. However, taking a medically fragile child to a freaky deaky hospital during a freaky deaky coronavirus pandemic in a state of emergency is not the first thing on my list of things to do today. Actually, it wasn't even on my list at all. So I don't know. We'll have to see what's going on here and um, we will keep you updated after this cut. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna take some precautions with taking a mask here, just for our protection, not theirs, since we don't have the coronavirus, obviously. Hey, buddy. Okay, so here we go. So we're in the waiting room and there's no one else in here. And that's pretty cool, huh, bud? Yeah. So that kind of helped, um, helped give me some peace of mind about exposing Emma to the coronavirus. All right, so we just got checked in. It's okay, buddy. Daddy is right here with you. Just got checked in and the nurse checked out Emma and did the temperature and, um, you know, oxygen and heart rate and that type of thing. Everything's fine with that. Just did a quick review of the medications as well. Had to bring the med log, which is this thing here. So it's this book which shows like all the different medications that he's on. So I'm about ready to take him out of the wheelchair here and put him on the bed. Had to make like a makeshift pillow out of his blanket because the nurse was like, well, are you kidding me? We don't have a, we don't have a, a pillow for every bed. And I was like, what are you talking about? I've been in like six different hospitals in the past year and I've always had a pillow for my son. And I noticed right there, can you see that? Hang on, let me get a better shot. There's a pillow right there just sitting in the hall not being used. What is he talking? There's so many problems with our with, with our healthcare system. I just I just don't even know where to begin, and 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 then this just adds to it. All right, so a resident doctor just came in to see Emmett. Yes, that's right. He took a look at his eye. He definitely saw what we were talking about. Yes, Emmett, are you doing a good job? Oh, look at that hand. Basically, he's gonna go out and he's gonna go get an eye numbing solution and, uh, and like a dye so they can look at it under a special light to see what's going on. All right, here we go. <sighs> okay, so the doctor came in and checked it out, as you saw. They put in a dye into his eye, they numbed his eye, and they checked it out with a light, and they saw the scratch. I don't know if you can see it here on the video, it's a bit shaky, but do you see that lighter white colored dot right on the edge of his, here, let me point it out to you. There it is. I, I, I just, oh, it's a scratch, they said. It's the most like minimal thing it could be. So we just have to put in like a Vaseline type of antibiotic into his eye and then that will um, soothe him from any pain that he's potentially in because of the scratch as well as prevent from any infections because of that. We are snuggling together right now. Oh, you're so precious. Daddy loves you so much. You are so precious. We should be getting out of here pretty soon to go home, which will be awesome. Can't wait to do that. Just uh, waiting for the medication to come in so we can get out of here. Isn't that right, Emmett?
just waiting around still. I don't know why it takes so long all the time, but I guess like pharmacies and hospitals are just busy. Maybe they're understaffed or something. I never understood that, why you can go to the ER and it takes so long to get a medication. Oh well, who knows? He is just so precious. How you doing, buddy? It's just like a part of me is just frustrated because I just want Emmett to have a good day. And we were having a good day today up until we had to come here. I just feel bad for him that we always have to have a doctor's appointment or a trip somewhere. It's just, he loves to be at home so much. That's just his thing. He's just a family oriented kid. It's crazy, but most kids are, right? So I honestly and genuinely love caring for him so much. It's one of the greatest privileges of my life that I am able to care for him. Those are epic eyelashes. Oh, buddy oh finally Woo! all right we are going home we'll see you guys next time thanks so much